addition, which is what we're doing right now, then you start moving into multiplication. So, again, this is the laying out this vision to you. This is bringing it from its foundation. We as a church are going to have to make these decisions. The board is going to work on this to bring you as a church, Judy, what's it called? The church business meeting? Yes. Okay. For those of you who don't know, the board is not the highest functioning body. It is the church in business meeting, which is all of you guys. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, the decisions of where we go from here need to be done by the church in business meeting. The only problem is that in the past when we had church business meetings, you know who come? The board. The board members. So why have a business meeting? It's only going to be the same people that are on the board. But this, brothers and sisters, is something very important. This is something that you need to actually attend when we have it. So from this point, the board is going to be working on what we're going to present to the church in the business meeting. Then we discuss it from there and continue to move forward. Okay? So we need to pray about this. The church board has been praying. I bring this to the congregation to ask you to really seek God in directing us on where we should go from here. Because we have a great opportunity. And if we do nothing, what do you get when you do nothing? Nothing. 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 So here is some really bad English. If you don't do nothing, nothing's going to happen. If you do something, something will happen. How many double negatives was that? <laughs> so listen. Are you able to see that God has blessed us in the past? Yes. Okay, I'm going to read this one quote from Life Sketches. This is page 196. You've all heard this many times before. She writes, In reviewing our past history, having traveled over every step of advance to our present standing, I can say, praise God. As I see what the Lord has wrought, I am filled with astonishment and with confidence in Christ as leader. We have nothing to fear for the future, except as we shall forget the way the Lord has led us in His teaching in our past history. Amen. So brothers and sisters, I've read that text a long time ago, but I keep going back to that. And where we are today, that text is speaking to us today. I, as the pastor for 10 years, have looked over what God has done and how he's brought us from there to where we are today. And I stand here in astonishment. And all I can say is praise God. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus Christ, for your faithfulness, for your mercy. And I look at the congregation and I see the faithfulness and the love that you have for him and for each other. And I bring to you this question, where are we going to go in the future? Where are we going to go and what are we going to do? And how are we going to get there? To answer that question, you as individual members have to seek God because the decision will be made in the church business meeting and I hope every member shows up for that. Because believe me, if we call this meeting and it's only the board members, I'm going to vote that we don't move forward to this at all because we're not ready for it. Either we're all on board, and we do this, or we don't. And as I told you, if you don't do it, if you... <laughs> no, I'm not going to say it. We, we heard it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay? God's brought you to this day. God's brought you to this time. God is asking you to actually do something. So do it. Amen. As we get ready and we actually have this meeting, come with what God has led you. And let's be, when we get to the point where we make the decision, we need to be of one mind and one heart. Amen. So that we can move forward in unity and that we don't have to worry about division and <laughs> disharmony within the ranks. Amen.
Amen? Amen. Amen. Alright, so our closing is in number three.
looking to where this church in New Smyrna is going to go. Father, I pray that you would touch each of us. You have given us gifts. You have given us talents. You have answered every prayer that we brought before you. Father, we are continuing to ask you to increase this church, to bless it, to use it, to use it for what its purpose is, and that is to prepare a people for the second coming of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, if we lose that focus, then close our doors, because there's no reason for us to be here. This is what we're called for. This is what our mission is, and that should be in our very DNA, that we are to prepare a people for the second coming of Jesus Christ, and it's coming soon. Father, bless us, use us, and again, increase us. For this we ask and pray, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.